Hi, this is Corinne from Simply Understand, and I'm here today to tell you about my latest translation on my website, which is about a Welsh Assembly consultation on whether shops should start charging for giving out plastic bags. Um, now, it's quite a simple consultation, but the actual consultation document kind of hid that alongside a lot of lovely anecdotes about how things have gone in Wales and Northern Ireland, um, so I thought I would try and reduce it down for you to something a little easier to understand. Now, I'm going to try just reading it out, but if I uh, end up with any kind of divergences, that's just me, and feel free to ignore them. So, charging for carrier bags in Wales, uh, a consultation that ends on, I believe, the 21st of September 2000. The Welsh Assembly wants shops to start charging their customers between 5 pence and 15 pence a bag by the 1st of October in 2010. They want them to start doing this and to start charging that amount exactly because lesser amounts, you know, say 1 pence or anything up to 5 pence, have not been very effective in England and in other countries that this has been tested in. And the whole point of charging for carrier bags is to really stop people using them and um, stop plastic bags cluttering up our landfill seas, etc. Now, this charge would be for basically all sorts of bag, except those uh, big reusable ones that are made of very solid cardboard that you can get from all the big supermarkets these days. That includes things like paper bags, uh, because they take um, a lot of energy to produce and involve cutting down a lot of trees. They're also very heavy and take up a lot of space in landfill, so they're harder to uh, get any value out of from recycling. Um, degradable plastic bags uh, have been put forward as a useful alternative a few times, but the truth about degradable plastic bags is that they have many of the same problems as plastic bags. They are produced from the same source, which is oil, which we all know we need to preserve. Um, and also has a massive environmental side effect when they're made. And also when they degrade, they don't degrade very quickly. They do degrade, which is better than normal plastic bags, but um, it takes a long, long time. And also they're harder to pick up by uh, litter pickers and what have you, because they kind of split into lots of tiny, tiny pieces, which can be very annoying for councils. And plastic bags, of course, we all know about the evils of them. Um, and they just have this massive environmental impact when they're made, because they're made from oil, and also when they kind of clutter up the place, block drains, cause flooding, cause pollution, all those other things. Now, the Welsh Assembly wants to know um, whether you think this is a good idea for all retailers to do. Um, they have some theories about who shouldn't have to charge for plastic bags. They include people like pharmacies, um, so that uh, people who are buying medicine can, can hide it in a plastic bag so that people don't know what they're getting. It's kind of a privacy thing. Uh, plastic collection bags for charity shops, because they usually have quite good recycling policies anyway, um, and they'd like you to come up with any more examples you can think of. But, on the whole, they really like it if nearly every shop you can think of started using this policy of charging for carrier bags, big chain stores, department stores, Tesco, Sainsbury's and that lot, but all the way down to your local news agent or even the market stall around the corner. Um, and they also want to set up some kind of basically policing for this, which is going to be run, they want, by trading standards, though that's obviously open um, for discussion because it's mentioned in the consultation. Um, they want to have shops and, and everybody who's in this scheme recording how many plastic bags they sell, how much money they make from selling these bags, and also, um, and this is kind of the kicker, where that money is going to go. What they would like is for people to sign up to something called a voluntary code of practice, which means that if you sign up for that as a shop, um, you are basically saying, here's the money from my carrier bags, go and give it to um, environmental projects of your choosing. 
Um, you could also choose to give them to kind of projects in your local area, but they, the general idea is that you wouldn't keep the money as profit. You would give it to local organisations to help improve the local environment. Now, um, the Welsh Assembly also wants to put some penalties in place if shopkeepers fail to record all these details um, and don't generally cooperate with um, how, what, what the uh, Welsh Assembly wants to do with the money. Um, just something like a fixed penalty fine which can only go up to a certain amount um, and costs. So if you have anything that you want to say about this policy that the Welsh Assembly wants to put in place about carry bags, if you have anything to add, um, or if you have any suggestions on how the scheme could be done better, then you can do one of two things. You can email the local environment quality branch um, their email address carrier bag consultation at wales.gsi.gov.uk you can also write to the local environment quality branch department for the environment sustainability and housing welsh assembly government cathays park cardiff cf10 3nq the best way to get your response listen to is to use the form that's available on the Welsh Assembly website so I recommend that you check that out and make sure that you get all your ideas and suggestions and thoughts about this idea to them by the 21st of September 2009. So thank you very much for listening and please keep in mind at all times that this is an unofficial translation of this very official government document so please don't take everything say is read. Um, I always recommend that you read the full consultation document but I can understand that can be difficult to wade through. Please make sure you come back to Simply Understand and check out our vote. This week it's between consultations on the rights for, of control for disabled people, legislation to address illicit PTP file sharing and adapting to climate change. So if any of them sound juicy uh, come along to simplyunderstand.com and vote for them. Thank you very much.